Good morrow to thee. Welcome to the first video of Tuesday. Yes, the British day of chewing. Why is it called Tuesday? Well, it's just because it, it I don't know, like some British people say chew. Um, I, if I was really kind of like, I could be asked, I would call it Tuesday. Uh, but Tuesday, you know what I mean? You know, maybe it's just from, from our land and base thing. Landed. Okay, so this video is a serious one because we've had uh, a big thing that dropped late last night, UK time or kind of like normal time, any other country, and that was information on the March champions, April's champions, which is going to be Scorpion and Black Cat, Superior Kang, and Boss Rush, and so many other things. Let's have a look at it. So you can check out the linkity link link in the description down below, and basically you just get to see footage of champions in action. And this is the this is the, I believe. I would say this is, well, I don't know, this could be the boss rush. I don't know, I wouldn't say it's the boss rush, actually, considering the fact that there's there's usually, like, a lot of female-based characters. So I want to say this could be, like, the side quest. Does it actually say that at the top? Um, your Mega Sentinel overview? I don't know. In any case, you've got Kang, you've got other stuff like that. Well, or maybe it is, actually. Maybe it is the boss rush. Because it says that. In any case, so let's, let's go into because it's broke down into tabs. Uh, there's Kabam Thel looking good. Um, I remember like coming down a escalator. Um, I don't know what it's called in the in your countries. I'm sure it's like you got escalators, uh, and Kabam Thel was there, and I touched his hand, and we had a moment. Um, but apart from that, but that's Kabam Thel. If you wanted to know who that indeed uh, was, and uh, let's just get right into like what is um, going on. So new champions, as we said yesterday, confirmed to be a Mega Sentinel. Wow. Which is going to like have all these kind of like nano nano technology based stuff. That looks insane. Animation department and Kabam obviously doing bits, doing absolutely amazing bits. Uh, and as well, you know, the other one is going to be um, uh, Betsy Braddock. But also like champion design. If you want to kind of have a look at that, then the link will be in the description uh, down below on the construction. Do you want to take a pause right there? I just love the fact that Kabam's animation team and like champion like creation team just do such a phenomenal job. So we've got as well these kind of like arms transform into uh, cannons, which look pretty sick. Um, and where they take inspiration from is always a difficult one because like, let's play some stuff right here. Um, like, what is it like the the way that the champion is created is a certain way it's not like a, it's a particular comic book story arc because it's not like the what is well, I don't know, orange face that that we kind of like that we just saw right then you know this the, what they're taking from is that particular kind of build but let's have a look a bit more um cowardice is another ability that the or debuff that the enemy is able to put on and there's uh, this hill block. It looks like this. There's like a full kit of uh, interaction. So Betsy Braddock is confirmed as being Captain Britain, as a lot of us know. And uh, we're going to see a little bit of that champion. Uh, I think at a later date. They're kind of keeping a lot of that secret in order, kind of explaining uh, very much on that. There's also going to be, um, which you can see right here, not Journey to the Shadow uh, to the Savage Land. That's the but Prime Sentinel um, reprogramming. So I think that in any case is the boss rush. It's hard to really know like um, how Kabam are kind of like setting this up. But yeah, or is it? I don't know. In any case, maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But Prime Sentinel reprogramming is indeed the um, what is coming on very very soon. And it looks like you have got like some floppy disks. Like if any anyone remembers like floppy disk drives, where you know. So basic USB drives, the old fashioned USB drives, they're like there, they've just got like some kind of like eye on them, like uh, I don't know, the eye of something. But in any case, like that's that. The most exciting, one of the most exciting things is indeed that uh, Act 7.4. And Act 7.4, I think, is released later next month, so later March. Oh, this month, sorry, later March. I forgot we're in the 1st of March now. And Superior Kang is our end kind of big bad for 7.4. And if you've seen the leaks, you've seen the leaks. But there are some stuff in the leaks, I think, that don't particularly correspond. They've got there, like, um, that kind of... Um, it's like Astral Evade type thing, which is what I refer to as Super Stream. So once you get up to 10 Super Streams, it goes slow-mo and goes wounded or something. So that's something to kind of point out. There looks like loads of things are going on at this time uh, with this champion. 
it will definitely you definitely see like some breakdowns of this uh, in action uh but yeah like wow there's a lot of evading that needs to be done or kind of like you know you got to you got to be careful because you don't want to get hit because you know can lead to stuff like that but it can either go slow mo or fast or like normal so it's like sometimes you don't know what the extent of there of like slow motion you got to be so careful uh, not to get uh, hit and the champion gets some of your uh, your buffs if you're a champion with buffs then the enemy champion gets those buffs as well um, and you know slow mode to finish boom uppercut there um, as you finish off I'm looking forward to 7.4 I'm working hard for 7.3 at the moment uh, if you want to check out the full video of this it will be in the description uh, down below but it definitely looks like there's kind of like a lot of stuff hot on offer it's quite exciting as well because I'm actually going to be doing a reveal and have done a reveal of the champions for uh, April. And I don't normally do this. Hello, everybody. It's me back into the thing. There's a big Kabam Thel there. He's looking, he's looking lovely, isn't he, the Kabam Thel? don't know what happened to Kabam Mikay. Uh, he's hiding away somewhere. But yeah, um, Scorpion and Black Cat are coming to the game, which I think we predicted uh, on, the, on the channel. We did like that. I mean, it looked like pretty obvious in any case. But I love the fact, I think these builds and how these, these champions look is actually like like just spot on. We're going to see some imagery in a, in a second. So there they are. Um, let's get this onto, uh, onto the old wide screen, which looks a little bit like that. Yeah, I, I want to like, commend Kabam. I think that these, if, if we're looking at kind of like how these these characters have been done from, say, comic books or kind of like how they're, how they're put in game, um, these, this has probably been my favorite so far comic book to um to kind of like the mcoc based on just like the way they look it look class like the way that black cat looks spot on fantastic the way that scorpion is this more kind of modern tekkenized kind of version which makes a lot of sense uh, i just love it i think this is um as i said i think this is one of the best builds and i'm really looking forward to next month and and or april yeah april next month uh these champions look look amazing so you know if kabam um you know, props to them on, on that, you know. We just gotta wait for a few other things as well. As a lot of us know, we've got um we've got battlegrounds coming in at some point. What when when will that be? Don't know. Because that's just the thing, isn't it, with battlegrounds. It's um we've got to go to beta first, uh, and all those things. And yeah, that is uh that's been it. A lot of exciting things to um to kind of look forward to in the contest and stuff like that. Yeah, um, I, I gotta be honest. Like from what I've seen so far, like there, there's not been so much on um, Betsy Braddock. I guess they're kind of like waiting for a deep dive and stuff. We've seen a lot of like a Mega Sentinel. I am happy to see a Mega Sentinel back into the uh, the, the game um, actually be made this time because it's like it was just kind of sad to like see like a length of time without that champion. And because there was only two that you could vote for, uh, right? To, no, not two you could vote for, but it, I felt like it's very tight between one and the other. It was just kind of sad at the end of it. And, it, you know, I am think it's going to be great because it's going to be like a full bag of kit. We'll have to go over de more details. Like, I think the spotlights are out probably next couple of weeks or something. And we'll be able to see, like, you know, what those champions will be able to do. Uh, and, yeah, like, the Superior Kang fight looks fun. Uh, that needs to be broken down in some videos as it comes into the game at some point this month, I want to say. But in any case, so, so good. Um, really, really happy. Bit positive. So that's always good. And make sure as well, you know, because that's the video. And we've got a couple more videos coming out today that's going to be about Act 7.3 as I grind through a lot of that and post some content. So I'm going to do a little bit of those type of videos as well, especially as we gear up for 7.4. Check out some other content on screen right now, and I'll see you very, very soon for some more videos. Chatty buzz.